In this video, I'm going to share with you a cool idea in which CIG can implement to really make ships awesome. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. So, um, a friend of mine reached out to me a few uh, a few days back and uh, shared with me his ideas in terms of uh, uh, AI blades that CIG will in the future implement um, into ships. So now, the idea of this is to make ships a lot more valuable and to encourage the player base to keep their ships alive for as long as possible okay so if you like any part of this video any part of this idea please do me a favor and share this with other people this way cig can notice this video and maybe implement some if not all of this idea let's get started all right so the very first part of this uh, idea there's actually six parts of this right so the very first part here is ai blades needs to be like legendary items found in game and not sold in stores or web store it can be earned from in-game factions stolen or traded between players point number two is each blade literally needs to be a dice roll which gives you stat boosts across the board by a minimum of five percent to a maximum of 15 percent for your ship's stats like maneuverability, weapon capacitors, shield HP, etc. Okay, so now let's continue into the third part. It says, Blades needs to have an archetype themselves. Some may be geared towards industrial that gives efficiency towards mining, refining, salvage, combat, exploration, or, or some can be dual archetypes giving combinations of the two but not as good as a single archetype or some could be jack of all trades master of none i think this is a great idea in terms of getting specialized ai blades for your ship if whether you have a mining or a salvage ship or having a jack of all trades for the general purpose ships will be really good so now it continues to be more interesting as we get into the fourth part so the fourth part here says blades can earn more xp that boost their stats over time as they fly their ship and do activities that favor their archetype, reaching their ultimate 15% boost stats. So now this is what makes things interesting. So as long as you keep the same AI blade, your ship will continue to get better and learn as you continue to use it. So this means the stats will continue to get better and eventually making your ship a lot better than what it originally was. So now it's getting a lot more interesting. So now let's look at the fifth part. It says keeping your ship alive and even if damage motivating you to repair it will preserve the AI blade stats and continue to grow. So this idea of keeping this AI, this single AI blade in your ship um, to allow it to learn and grow and, and be essentially the heart or the, uh, the soul of the ship is such a great idea because it encourages players to want to keep their ship and bring a lot more importance to ships overall. Right now, uh, players, we really don't care when something goes wrong with a ship, we just go and claim it, but uh, it will really intensify uh, the importance of keeping your ship when you run into um, other players or you're fighting NPCs and there's a risk of losing your ship. It, it will really amplify the intensity of the fight and um, and the will to want to keep your ship alive. Okay, so let's continue. It says, also, if your ship is completely destroyed, the AI blade will survive like an airplane black box in the wreck. But once removed from the wreck, you will need a data runner ship to keep the blade alive for long duration or it will die or explode after one hour. When ships get destroyed, the blade may lose stats up to 5%, but not lower than its base stats. When you recover a blade from a wrecked ship, the blade will have bonus stats um, that will earn its boost stats back at a faster rate than a brand new blade. Obviously, the blades can be swapped from ship to ship, but there is a dice roll that could potentially lose small percentage of the boost stats. 
So the point is, is to keep the blade in its original ship for as long as possible. But if it dies, it's worth going back to recover the blade, putting it into your reclaimed ship due to its own rarity and boost the stats you have earned by flying the ship for as long as you did. There's two benefits with this, right? It encourages players to want to keep their ship alive as for as long as possible. It encourages players, even if they lose their ship, to come back and try to get their uh, blade. It adds more value to your ships or to the blade itself. It essentially will give you a reason to come back and fight for your ship. And also for those that are into combat or um, whether they find a wrecked ship or whether they destroyed an NPC, uh, ship they have something really interesting to go to that wreckage and find so i also believe that there should be other things to loot from other ships whether it's going to be resources especially with the engineering gameplay um resources you can extract from the ship to uh, bring onto your ship in order, just for the survival mechanics uh um, with star citizen alpha 4.0 coming there's going to be a certain level of survival uh, in star citizen i believe especially for ships with engineering gameplay so um with that alone you're going to be encouraged to go to the ship wreckages and see if you can find uh something interesting uh, what will make things more interesting is to find the ai blade of that ship and if it has good stats or not or even you can just find it extract it and sell it to somebody that is looking um, whether it has a certain archetype that some some people may be looking for or if it has good stats so i think it's an awesome idea so now the sixth part is if the ship's components are its organs the crew is the brain then the ai needs to count as the soul of the ship blaze need to make your ship feel alive rare unique worth devotion like the captain of the ship from our favorite shows like the millennium falcon firefly serenity star trek enterprise etc this means it needs a personality and interact with the pilot and crew. Um, think of HCC voice attack that can hear and respond to commands, but the voice is unique to your ship. That is that is an awesome uh, an AI blade that um, you can interact with in game that helps you. That is the soul of the ship. It, it essentially becomes the ship and it will encourage players to always want to keep the ship alive encourage players to maintain the ship keep the ship in its best shape and um that is i think an awesome idea you guys let me know do you guys think this is a great idea let me know in the comments down below share it with your friends hopefully somebody from cig sees this they can take all of this idea some of it but as long as they encourage us to want to keep our ships through AI Blade will be an awesome thing to see in the PU. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.